New polls show a dramatic shift in public opinion following marriage equality in Utah, but that hasn't stopped the Supreme Court from blocking weddings, for now. We have new details about cases in Missouri, Arizona, and West Virginia, plus legislators introduce a new marriage ban in Indiana, but with fewer backers than expected. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for January 13th, 2014. Marriage equality is now on hold in Utah, but public support continues to rise. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled that marriages must halt while the case makes its way through the appeals process. The Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals will receive briefs over the next few weeks and then hear oral argument possibly as soon as March. In the meantime, organizers are preparing to bolster their defense of last month's pro-equality ruling. The National Center for Lesbian Rights has just joined the Utah case as co-counsel. NCLR has successfully litigated numerous marriage cases, including the case that brought marriage equality to, U to California in 2008. It's been about two years since we had an opinion poll in Utah on this issue, but a new survey shows a dramatic increase in public support for marriage, with 41% favoring marriage, 24% for civil unions, and just 31% opposed to any relationship recognition. Arizona could be the next state to make marriage news. There's a new lawsuit there, and attorney Sean Aiken is seeking a trial on the merits. That means providing testimony and evidence in the Tenth Circuit, just as AFER did in the Ninth Circuit with the Prop 8 case. Legislators in Indiana have introduced a long-expected constitutional marriage ban. Although the bill has lost supporters since its last vote, it's likely to pass and head to voters this fall. There's a new lawsuit in Missouri, but this time it's from anti-gay groups. They're suing the state over a policy that recognizes out-of-state marriage licenses for tax purposes. Missouri's tax laws are complicated. They're tied to the federal government, which recognizes licenses, but the state also prohibits relationship recognition. So now it's up to a judge to reconcile that contradiction. Expect major news in several cases over the next few weeks. We have a conference this week in West Virginia where three couples are suing for the freedom to marry. AFER's case against Virginia's marriage ban will get a hearing on, on January 30th. And a case against Michigan's marriage ban has a hearing coming up on February 25th. Those are the headlines this week. Subscribe here on YouTube to stay up to date on all these stories and more. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.